right. Uh, so day two of Lost Weekend 8, movie number two, movie number four overall, Rosalie Bloom. Uh, this is one of the ones I didn't know that much about. Uh, I didn't really remember the trailer. Uh, I really wasn't sure what we were going to get into. <laughs> and that's kind of a funny thing because you sit in this movie and I, it, it starts out very strange. Uh, a, a middle-aged man uh, meets a woman in a grocery store and something about her uh, attracts him to her. It's, it's not necessarily like he thinks that she's the most beautiful person or the most compelling person. It's just something about her captures him and you can see that happen. Uh, now you or I might see something interesting about somebody and maybe ask them a question about it or talk to them about it or go on our own way and sort of think about it in the back of our head about what it was that might have interested us about that. Uh, not, not this fellow. Uh, <laughs> so we spend the first third of this movie uh, watching him uh, stalk, 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 stalk seems like a harsh word, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is because he's following her around everywhere she goes uh, to the church to sing in a choir, uh, to the bar to have a drink and listen to music. He watches her at the shop. It honestly, it was a little creepy. Uh, it was a lot creepy. Um, and so I really wasn't sure what we were going to get into with this movie. I wasn't sure where that was going to go. It, all the beats of it made it feel sort of like a romantic comedy, um, but there really wasn't all that much romance. It was just a lot of watching and following. Um, but they sort of pivot on that. And uh, so they, the, the next act of the movie is they take back the same events that you saw and they show it from a third party's perspective. And then they go back again and show it from another person's perspective. And you start to tease out all of the different storylines that are coming together uh, and then maybe also tease out a little bit about what he found to be so interesting about her. And so I went from thinking um, that eh, maybe this is a movie about a creep that we're supposed to sympathize with uh, to eh, maybe that was a creepy choice. But uh, um, but there's definitely a lot of humanity that goes on in the movie. And I, and I actually wound up uh, being quite engaged by it. I don't know that it's quite a romantic comedy, um, but it's certainly about um, lost people. Uh, finding themselves and finding company and companionship and the people around them and uh, finding ways to express themselves and, and let the things that they care about shine um, you know, where they hadn't been able to do that before. Uh, so as far as Lost Weekend movies go, uh, I think we're off to a good start. Uh, we've got two movies down, one about coming to terms at the end of your life and the other about just really getting to know strangers as deeply as inappropriately as possible. Uh, so I'm really excited to see what we have next.